what you are searching for is already here now. There's no person you need to become, no imagined person or idea you need to complete in order to feel completely liberated and free now. The light of who you are is the light in everyone and everything, and that is boundless, untouched, unknowable. It doesn't have any concepts, it can't be defined by anything, it just simply is. But there's something that the person gets lost in, which is this story of needing to be fixed, needing to be healed, and this is old spirituality now. We don't need that because it is a constant loop of of story and and fixing and healing and what are you fixing what are you healing when you know that you are already it you already are so anything that appears to be darkness is just delusion is illusory it's like yes there are there are negative things that happen in the world but all of that comes from a place of confusion and not knowing who we are directly, which is this moment right now. So you don't need to go learn any special method or give your power away to a teacher or group. You are the ultimate master and you know that, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. So allow yourself to feel this and know this, that right now, the beingness of us, which is in this dimension of now, is free, is whole. This is the awakening. This is the, the free consciousness, which is the realization that right now, there's nothing that can actually affect the boundlessness of what we are. Because this moment has always been here and we are the energy, the light, that emits itself through everything in form here in this moment. And what appears on the screen of form is, is a story of the person, a past and a future. And we, we say, oh, this, this is really good about this that I did, and oh, I'm going to do this, but then I'm scared about this, and oh, I need to, need to fix this. And we have this, we have this like character development that is is we, that that never gets to any level of completion right so always when you are just working on the character on the person it will always just be that something won't ever feel something will always not feel right there's something that doesn't feel right i need to fix this i need to become more present more uh happy more rich liked by others when really the the true beingness of us doesn't need any sort of validation because it already knows it is everything right and you know the the the, the character goes on this mission right to to conquer to achieve and oh you know when i become the next billionaire when i get the next mega mansion when I get on TV and become famous then I will be free and no all of that you realize when when that when we get those things sure if it's through passion if it's through something we love doing there's an enjoyment in that but when we get those things what really makes us feel satisfied is the release of the tension that we have that we have held building up to to get that so when we get that that tension is released and then we are in the present moment so it is always this moment that we're actually chasing right <laughs> we're chasing this moment when we this is exactly what we are so you we can feel this moment now by just being and Sometimes that just takes stepping out of the mind, what we conceptually know, and allowing ourselves to feel this energetically, intuitively, without words, without concepts.
and it's something we know that isn't conceptual so we can't know it conceptually we know that there's a presence that is boundless and transparent and it's always been there right so this this deeper reality this deeper nature of who we are isn't a name it can't be our name because we can change that it can't be how popular you are it can't be your job it can't be how much money you have it can't be words it could be this, now, boundless, ungraspable, joyful, alive. It doesn't need to take from anyone or anything because it knows that it is the thing in everyone and everything and has this sense of completion, knowing that no matter what happens in form, no matter what unfolds that it is always there you are always there whatever wave comes you always have this moment to return to so say I leave here and then I find someone has thrown dog poo on my car window, which I don't know who would do that, but you know, I could go, ah, you know, oh, what the hell, <laughs> why? I don't know if I would say that, but you know, I could get all flustered or like, you know, who would do that? Why would someone do that? And then, you know, bring myself back to this and oh, yes, this happened, but I'm still, I'm still here. Right? I could choose to ruminate in a story about, or, you know, oh, this person threw dog poo on my window, fuck them, oh, you know, uh, screw them. And then, you, you know, you, you, you stay in, the person gets in a cycle of thoughts about uh, what could be, uh, and, and stories about what could happen. Or I could just accept the situation and know that I'm always here. I'm always free, I'm always alive. And the being of us knows that. You don't need anyone outside of yourself to tell you this, to validate this within you. Because you already are it, you already are free. And it's no one's awakening, it's the awakening. It's the awakening through all of us, right? There's no hierarchy, this is shared. This presence now is shared. There's a gap always you can see, not just in meditation, because that this space is here always. There's a gap between the energy of thought. It's like there's a strong energy of, of thought and what pulls us out of this moment of now. There's, there's a gap in it and you can breathe and feel it. And that feeling never actually leaves you. It can only seem to be masked by some sort of story or thought energy that is not the reality of this moment. So you can always feel this. It doesn't matter if I'm here or not. This energy, this presence is alive within you constantly. And the more we see that, the more we, we surrender and get used to allowing that and that comes through everything we do we don't bypass form then that actually creates an, a, a true energetic momentum 
that floods everything we do, everything we say, everything we think, every action we take. I'm just gonna show you this beach that I'm on because it is so beautiful. It's nice to, um, I'm currently out of the city I'm living in. Um, and it's amazing when we um, allow ourselves to be spontaneous with, with life um, and fully, fully present with it. Um, you know, the, the levels of being and the, the experience and the journey that we can have. So none of this means you bypass any form. You actually enjoy the journey so much more. Since I have traveled up here, I have had so much fun. I went to a party with a friend the other night and I've never had that much fun just to be able to let yourself be spontaneous and let loose and that's what we're here to do is to enjoy this world to enjoy the pleasures of this world but with presence and with consciousness and with love and you know when we feel like we are not we are not connected to that right we we actually disconnect from the 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 Meganess, the awesomeness of this moment, right? So we go and grab something. We go, we go to the food. We go to, you know, we go to get wrapped up in in thought or um, in whatever it is. But just know, if you really allow, really trust this, then it's just a endless space of energy that is there for you. Okay. Lots of love. Thanks for watching. Bye.